Hey gamers, it's me. I've played Super Mario Brothers and the real sequel, Super Mario Brothers Special. But did you know that there's another sequel to that first game? It's kind of like the second two, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I played another Mario. Jesus Christ, Charlie. How can you get yourself to play almost the same game twice? It's not the same game. One was made for the PC, the other one was made for the Famicom Disk System. They're basically the same thing. No, they aren't. This game is completely different from Super Mario Bros. Special. It is a completely different game. No, they aren't the same thing. They are different, I tell you. Different. They're the same thing. No, they aren't. I bet you're all doubting me. Everybody doubts me. I don't understand why. They're different games. Now, if you haven't heard this story about a hundred times, Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels was called Super Mario Bros. 2 in Japan. The Lost Levels was seen to be too hard for Americans, and the rest of the world didn't get it, because Nintendo didn't feel like it, I guess. Wouldn't we have not got it because we had the American version of the Famicom? Yes, but that doesn't make for good storytelling. After the release of the original Super Mario Bros., Nintendo were coming up with more ideas for levels, levels that were much harder than the original game, so they made a sequel for the new Famicom disk system. If you remember, the original game was ported over to the disk system, so it wouldn't have been that hard of a challenge to make a sequel. Some of the levels in this game came from the arcade port of Super Mario Bros., that being Super Mario Bros. Versus. This game marked the first game where Takashi Tezuka took over as director, as Shigeru was too busy working on The Legend of Zelda. The game is hard, as described by Tezuka, who said that Japanese players had mastered the original game, so they needed a more challenging sequel. So I, being the Mario Master, decided to play this game. Are you insane? Mentally? Yes. Physically? No. This game is too hard. Why is this game so hard? Who decided that this game should be this hard? What is wrong with that person? You have to beat this game eight times. Why? Why do you have to beat this game eight times? I only want to play Mario game once. If I wanted to play Mario game multiple times, I would play a game multiple times. This game is the bane of my existence. I've never completed this game, but today is the day I'm going to beat this stupid game. Why are you going to play this game? What's the point? I understand playing it once, but eight more times? That's going to be almost impossible. Yeah, I know. I'm the same. You don't have to tell me. I didn't play this game eight times. That's impossible! One playthrough took me 56 minutes, and that was using the rewind feature at Warp Zones. I cheated, and I still took almost an hour. This game is incredibly hard. The first level starts off easy, with a level introducing the Poison Mushroom, which kills you. Pretty simple. Next we go on to World 1-2. World 1 2 is when it starts to get difficult. World 1 2 starts to introduce dumb death traps, but it's easily skippable if you just climb onto the brick blocks. The brick blocks make it way too easy. After climbing on top of them, you're treated to a pipe with a piranha plant on it. Not a warp zone. Although later on, after you pass the piranha plant, you actually get to the warp zone that takes you all the way to World 2. Only World 2. World 2 was pretty simple, with an ending in a castle and all, but it all leads up to World 3. This game introduced something to Mario that is quite possibly the best addition that was ever to exist, with that being the really bouncy trampolines. I don't know if that's the official name, but they're cool. You can use this to jump over the flagpole. I wonder what's behind the flagpole. Oh, a warp zone. To world one. Or a death pit. What? <laughs> so you have to start again? Did you forget about the rewind feature? After completing this level, it took you to the next and the next. The World 3 castle is dumb. It's a never-ending, stupid maze puzzle thing that you would have no idea if it's a maze or not. I had to look up a tutorial. Damn, you really were cheating. How was I supposed to work this one out? By playing over and over again. Duh. Dude, shut up. So yeah, I killed Bowser. He's dead. These type of puzzles were seen in the first game, with the most notable example being the last level, with you having to go down a specific pipe. This game's final level also has something like this, but we'll get to that. World 4 was pretty cool, nothing major happened. World 5 though, that was dumb. We got some Flappy Bird Pipes, as I like to call them, mixed with Wind and Cooper Troopers. Luckily there was a warp zone that took me to World 7. World 7 and 8 were difficult, but some levels were just short. I like the fact that these levels take place in night time, that's kinda cool. The final level for me was a killer, the game was broken. So at a specific section of the level, you're meant to go a specific way to be able to get to a pipe. For me, it didn't work. 
until I had almost no time left. This was so annoying. You can see me trying to complete the level even though I had 20 Mario seconds left. Mario seconds are like 10 times shorter than real seconds, which makes it difficult. Luckily though, I have multiple lives. On my first run through of the game ever, I ran out of lives while trying to work this puzzle out. That's why I never want to play this game ever again, because of that. Now, the final boss. Bowser. No wait, that's his brother, and that's not the final boss. So Bowser's brother starts trying to kill you, and you can't kill him unless you have a fire flower. I did not have a fire flower. Loser alert. Shut up. I just managed to dodge the man, leading you up to Big Man Bowser, the real one. This was easy. First try, in fact. Then he saved Princess Peach. What a game. There's also like a world 9 and then a world A, B, C and D, but I never got to them. So we're not going to talk about those, are we? Because those worlds don't exist. Mario games are only meant to have 8 worlds, not any of those stupid bonus worlds. I hate bonus worlds, they suck. So that's the game. Now we can go on to Super Mario Land, correct? Oh god. Thank you.